Zdrasti, Doberden, Kazvam Se, Joseph Kursky. One of the things and tools that I use in learning about a country, Bulgaria for example, is I use the 3D scene viewer in ArcGIS Online. I also use the 2D map viewer to look at rainfall, biomes, ecoregions to find out what the landscape and the population is like I also look at the Water Balance app, looking at precipitation and other variables. I also look at the global migration data, for example here, inbound and outbound migration over time for Bulgaria. I also use the Wayback imagery so I can see space over time changes at multiple scales for cities, rural areas, and more. I look at average household size and purchasing power in ArcGIS Online to see patterns. I get the data from the living atlas of the world. I also look at natural hazards, for example, real-time earthquakes to find out what the hazards are like in a different country. And I also use Google Maps, for example, street views, so I can see what the terrain is like in different places. I also use ESRI story maps, for example, this one of historical places around Bulgaria, folk costumes, a person's musical journey. Another tool which I love is the profile tool. You can measure, for example, depth in the Black Sea. It also works on land, of course, so if I measure across Bulgaria or any other country, I can get an elevation profile. So this is a nice integration of math, because you have to look at the vertical and the horizontal distance and know what units you're using, and geography, and looking at landforms and landscapes. So it's the elevation profile tool. Those are the tools that I most frequently use when I learn about a country. Thank you. Doskoro. Keep on exploring.